You're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic.
I think you've stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? Something about memories? Glad to meet someone who pays attention to the name. That's right. We let you relive the past. Now, I hate to turn such a clever boy away, but we aren't accepting new clients right now. Why not? Look, it's no secret that reliving a memory can be about having a good time, or helpful in remembering something you've forgotten or lost. But like anything worth doing in life, honey, it's got a kick to it, and the first time can be traumatic. So I keep the client list very small. People I trust. It helps us avoid a lot of unpleasantness. I get it. I'll go. I'm sorry we couldn't help you, sweetheart. Maybe some other time. Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to... Get the, the memory pod loaded up? Physiology. Oh, you. you're not Irma. Hey. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Yeah, something like that. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. <laughs>